welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. Come on, Mega Man, use the console. You're smarter than that. Today, we're going into the fourth and final ruins. One more key left. This place looks pretty cold. Good luck. It does look pretty cold. Looks pretty cool, though. Got these things doing whatever. Got money. Wee. It looks like there's a place where the floor is weaker around there. Try shooting it with your buster. Wee. Wee. I'm busy. You can shoot out the floor, you can find these glass panels. If you wait for a second, they come back because this place is so cold. Thankfully, we're a robot. We're a robot man. We're a Mega Man! Crap, I really should have healed myself before I came in here. Now, you may be saying to me, Hey, but Naka, you're actually liking an ice level? What trickery is this? Well, that's where... Cleated shoes come in! Oh man, look at me running! Look at me running and not being weird. Not sliding. I like ice and snow levels aesthetically. I just hate, hate, hate the ice mechanic. Now, if you wait for a moment, that will come back as well. There we are. So that's kind of the trick to that. You gotta shoot these things out and slide your way in, but they come back, so be careful. Now that little dude that took off running, if you're really quick, you can kill him. Yo, I'm not getting hit by that. These guys, by the way, will catch you on ice. It's like getting caught on fire, only really cold. I'm not entirely positive how it works. Mega Man! And they will, just like all of them really, they will occasionally, even though you've removed their shield and you keep shooting them, they will occasionally get a shot off. So which is why, like, I broke their shield and then ran. Because even that close range, I could still get hit now and then. Oh man, elephants! Now it's got elephants and it's got these little things running around. Now we haven't really seen what those little things do. We saw them in a sub-ruin. But if you wait for a second... They will steal money. That's pretty much their job. You can't kill them. I have been informed that they cannot be killed. Which is weird, because I remember being able to kill them before. I'll be careful, because those guys book to take out that mo take out that money. Okay, so we've got four doors to go through. That door is up there. We'll get back to that one. That door is on the ground. That door is a little bit higher, and that door is way up there. So, ground level door, and we'll work our way down to up. Where am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? Wah! These little dudes, by the way, they're the same little punk dudes that we've run into previously and served as one of the chief, really simple, stupid enemies of previous Mega Man Legends games. It looks like a dead end. Is there a place in the ceiling that looks like you could get through? If there is, you could probably shoot it out and climb up. Good idea, Roll. But the little dudes are actually, um, so cold. If you get hit by them, they will also catch you on ice. And there's not really all that much I can do about it. You see, you look on... What page is it? God dang it. There we are. 
If you look on the left there, you see I have Flame Barrier and Light Barrier, so I cannot be caught on fire and I cannot be electrocuted, but there's no item for not being caught on ice. Just something you can't do. I don't even know if there are shoes for it, because we did get the uh, shoes previously that let me walk on, like, electricity panels and things. The hover shoes or whatever, and I never actually used them, and I'm sorry. This room, as you can see, has these things up top. Those will break when you step on them, so you have to keep moving. If you fall, you fall down there. I'm just showing you the back end because I have no intentions of falling. Watch me fall. Roll is correct. You can shoot that. Climb on up. And then you just have to work your way through here. Watch your step, Mega Man. It looks like the floor's moving. Don't care. Still moving. Well, that's it looks no. like there's an opening you can use to get down to the floor underneath you. Except it's covered by some kind of energy barrier. Maybe you can deactivate the barrier with a control panel. So we're looking for a control panel. We also got the key. So now we can actually activate said control panel. Good news. And now that we've been through it once, you see the things actually disappeared, so we don't have to do that again. In fact, the whole room has changed, because now the only enemy in here is him. Thankfully, he's a little on the weak side. I did not actually explore all the way down here, and I apologize for all of you out there going, But, but Naka, but Naka, you're, you're missing a room. There we are. Nope, don't, no, don't lock onto them. The lock on in this game is, I almost want to say like my chief complaint with this game. Wah! Need to remember that they are dudes. And I want to say that just because it's very bad at locking onto the thing that you want it to lock onto. Like, I will look at a dude and go, hey, that's a dude. I want to lock onto him. And it'll pick some other random enemy, like, across the room behind me. That's not disorienting at all. Okay, so we hit a thing and we got all the item data. So, hey, there's an item there. We've got most of them now, on this floor. Anyway, there's a lot of floors. So, let's see here. We are... that's an elephant. Is this the room I came in on? Yes, it is. Keep going up. And there are more places to explore. Yeah, willing to bet. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Alright. There we are, you heard him. Wah! No, I'd rather not. I'd rather get hit by their grenades, actually, than, like, touch them. Because getting caught on ice is pretty much like getting caught on fire. It's overall unpleasant for everyone. It doesn't do as much damage as fire. Like, it doesn't last as long as fire. Nice thing about these is they don't even crack if you step on them for a short enough amount of time. But just a brief amount of time, and it... Wow, and then it recovered. Oh man, a red barrier. Gotta map out the room. Nobody's gonna stop me. Yay. And sadly, we cannot do the red barrier, because we don't have a red barrier key. We're gonna have to get that. Can I step on that? And not, like, get iced over or something? Yes, I can. I can! Okay, so that's the red barrier. Now the blue barrier... Oh, no mapped out that entire first yeah, it was a big room and y'all would have gotten bored so I guess we're going all the way back over there so backtracking 
That was almost dangerous. This enemy should still be devoid of enemies. If we're lucky, please still be devoid of enemies. Thank you. And the spinny things are still gone. That backtracking really wasn't that bad. That is thoughtful level design. Also, there's dudes down there. Man. Yay, I killed one! And that guy actually knows who I am. He knows I'm a Mega Man. Too far! Eat it! Oh, come on! One more hit! I feel cheated. Anything else down here? No! So we move onwards. And there's an elevator. It's a small room. Go ahead and map the whole room out. Why not? I'm a Mega Man. Do what I want. Floor number two. This is actually kind of a big ruin, and I like the aesthetic of the ruin. This may end poorly for me. Alright, that took care of him. But that was still there. Those dudes and their little, like, shooty things. You can kill him if you're quick enough. Eventually he just kind of goes, nope, poof. I'm actually going to change a buster part, though, because I put on this one, which is not nearly as efficient as something else that I have. I think I... What did I put on eventually? I put on this one, I think. Less range, more energy, more rapid. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yay. The floor there looks weak. Yep. Be careful. Shoot and pray! Shoot and pray! Made it! That wasn't so bad. Now, this room may actually look familiar, and it can get a little confusing. Because this is actually an exact copy of the room that we were in previously that had the things and the falling, and now there are dudes down there. That used to be an actual chest! Now it's not. Oh, crap, dudes. I'm tired of your crap, giant purple thing. How much crap I did deal with for you? I'm gonna hand- I'm going to fight you as lazily as physically possible. Just to Look stick it to you. You should be able to shoot through it and make an opening. That we can! Pachoo! And now we're going up. There should be a door in that room that leads to the next area. If you can't see it, it must be above you somewhere. You can probably see it from the top of one of the pillars. You can probably get to the door by jumping across the top of the pillars. You see what I mean? Yeah, like I'm going down there and fighting your freaking butt legit. I dealt with enough of your crap, too. Maybe I've got a better buster. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll fight like you legit. Looks like there's a barrier there, too. You can probably shut that one off if you find the right control panel. And pretty much identically to the previous area as well... There's a large room! Only this time we actually had, like, a room between the rooms. So many rooms. And this one has a large red barrier in the middle of it. Hold on for a moment, I actually wanna... Oh man, I can't skate because I got my not-sliding shoes on. 
Let me at least, like, map out the perimeter of the room so I can look at things and know where things are. So there are four additional doors in this room, and I'm mapping out those because up here... So we got a bottom floor door, that one's a little higher, that one's way higher. And then there is another door over here that's way higher. Now these like super high doors, I don't think we can even get to. They're gonna be an exit. So we've really only got two doors to choose from, so let's go bottom up. Small room, switch. Are you a map? I think you're a map. Yes, it is a map! Now we can look at the map and we actually know what we're in for, and that's going to be quite the fun bit of thing to get us up and around. Dudes are back alive again? Sounds like it. Alrighty then, until next time, everyone! We're probably going to finish off this entire dungeon next time, but we've got that to go through. Which will take us over there. And then there's like all kinds of things to do still. This is... I like this level. It's alright. Eat it, door! Until next time!